They're hunting for bullet holes, an agonizing search for punctured skin. The doctors count four, but there may be more. Adam is another victim of Arab militia attacks in Darfur. He couldn't walk, so his friend carried him to safety on his back across the border and brought him here. They came on horses, camels, and cars, Mohammed says. And as he waits by his friend, the tent fills with the wounded. But these are the survivors. They're cleaning blood from the floor. It belongs to Fatma. Shot in the head as she fled the violence in Al Jinena. <laughs> He said that she was seven months pregnant based on the ultrasound, but she's got more of her children outside. Her children lay on her sister Zainab's lap, only five and seven years old. <coughs> Zainab says her young nephew was holding his mother's body when the cart arrived at their village in Chad. <laughs> How is your heart, I ask. She says my heart isn't here. I don't know how to feel. She's fielding calls from relatives across the region, phoning to pay their condolences. But one call doesn't come. Adam Fatma's husband is trapped in the violence of Al Jinana with no signal. He's yet to find out that his wife and unborn child are being prepared for burial. She's carried out to her final destination in her chosen place of refuge. And under the pain of her family is a sense of fearful dread that more grief is on the way. Yusra al Sky News, Eastern Chad.